everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we have another scooter by Pure EV, the e-trans new. Let's start with the review and before we go ahead, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss an update from Rev Explorers. You can also go ahead and check out our Instagram, Facebook and Twitter pages. Handles will be right over here. Neo is a small sporty looking scooter by Pure EV. Now this one is also available in just one variant and has six color to choose from. In the front you get a LED headlight along with that are LED DRLs and LED turn indicators in the front. With that you get telescopic front forks and a 90 by 100 section C8 zoom tire mounted on a 10 inch cast alloy wheel. For safety this scooter also gets a 180mm disc brake which has pure EV calipers everything made in India and then you have EBS that is electronic braking system which is definitely amazing for the scooter. From the side profile it resembles the likes of Scooty Pep and it is very light and has a ground clearance of somewhere around 165 mm which is decent enough for city usage. And just like the ePluto 7G you get two ways to charge the battery with the 67.2 volt 10 ampere charger and it takes around four hours to charge the scooter. Instead of a logged storage unit like in ePluto, this one gets two open pockets to keep your stuff along with a hook to hang your bag. Then the external charger is over here below the seat or you can just switch it off, open the boot and once the boot is open, well there is no boot storage over here available. You have small storage to keep few of your stuff but then the major part is consumed by the battery. You can just switch off the PCB, you can plug this off and take out the battery, take it home and charge it. Or you can just keep it plugged, switch on the MCB and charge it from the external port. So the best part about this battery is that you can easily replace it. It is made by Pure EV, so it is made in India. It gets a 3 year warranty or 40,000 kilometers, whichever is less. And it is the same 60 volt 2.5 kilowatt hour battery, just like in the ePluto 7G. The seat is very soft, it is very cushiony and very comfortable, just like the ePluto. And the seat height for this scooter is somewhere around 760 mm. So if you are above 5 feet, you can easily ride this scooter because it is a very lightweight scooter. And I am 5'9", I can easily get both of my feet on the ground. It is meant for short riders. So when you are above 5'10", and you turn the handlebar, if you see over here, I can bump my knee on this switch. So this might be problematic for taller people. So if you are tall, then you can always opt for ePluto 7G rather than the Entrans Neo. This one is best suited for lady riders as well as short riders. And below this seat are dual spring coil shock absorbers for a comfortable ride. Along with that is the motor. Now this one is a brushless DC motor. It is a hub motor and it has a nominal power of 1.5 kilowatt and a peak power of 2.2 kilowatt. Along with that, you get a drum brake in the rear with EBS and the rear tire is 3.0 profile by C8 zoom mounted on a 10 inch cast alloy wheel. At the rear is a very good looking LED tail light and bulb turn indicators. Now before I hop onto the saddle, I'll show you the keys because over here you get two keys and two remotes and this remote doesn't have three buttons, it just has two buttons, one for unlock and one for lock. So the moment you lock it, it is in anti-theft mode with smart lock. So when I move the wheel, the buzzer goes off and the wheel gets locked. So that's how the smart anti-theft lock works. In fact, if the scooter is locked, and I put the key in and try to switch on the scooter, the buzzer will go off. And now let's check out the instrument cluster. So it is a very small 4 inch LCD with very basic information. So you have the digital speedometer, battery gauge and then the odometer. Along with that there are multiple indicators over here that you cannot see. And the turn indicator and the high beam indicator are in fact integrated inside the LCD. Now coming to the handlebar, on the right hand side you have the headlight control, you have the self start switch which is now a horn switch and then you have these two buttons additional for parking or drive mode. You can also go from parking mode to drive mode by holding the brake and then accelerating so it automatically goes into the drive mode. 
so you have the three riding modes 1 to 3 uh, the riding mode 1 has a top speed of 30 km per hour with a range of 120 km plus then you have the second ride mode which has a speed of 40 km per hour and a range of somewhere around 100 110 km and the third one is the fastest so here you get a top speed of 60 km per hour and a range of somewhere about 90 km although i still feel that this should be integrated somewhere over here so that this additional portion is not coming out and i definitely feel that pure ev will be doing it in the coming iterations because they are listening to customer feedback coming to the left hand side you have the headlight control the turn indicator control and the horn so it is a very loud single tone horn it's time to take the e trans new on the city roads of pune and see how it performs and before you go on a ride don't forget to wear your helmet and follow all road safety rules One thing is for sure, Pure EV does know how to keep rider comfort in check. The seat on the scooter is very well padded and very comfortable, best for city use. The riding triangle also makes sure that the seating is upright. And as it is a short rider friendly scooter, someone above 5'8 would have to slightly crouch or push back on the seat. There are no stress points on your back or shoulder as it is a city commuting scooter. In fact, let's hear it from our female rider Ritika Reddy how it feels to ride this scooter. Thank you Abhinav for giving me the opportunity to ride the scooter. Well, talking about my riding experience, I can surely say that the comfort has not been compromised to the rider and as well as for the pillion. The seat is very comfy, very well padded. so that even on the day to day city rides it won't be a problem while riding as per my height that is 5 6 the leg space is pretty decent however someone above my height might bump their knee into the mode switch mounted on the handlebar even if the scooter looks small for many it does its job pretty well the suspension further enhances its comfort while riding as i hardly felt jerks on the speed breakers and puddles also the braking performance is good and gives a good feedback Overall it is a good city commuter for female riders. And it's not just the comfort. The performance on this scooter is also good. The motor is very refined and punchy just like on the e-Pluto 7G. As it is electric the torque is instantaneous and hence the moment you pull the throttle it responds no lag whatsoever. The motor is very smooth and silent. There is no whining noise even when the scooter is running at full speed. It easily pulls until it hits the speed limit. The rideability is undoubtedly good on the scooter. Just like on e-Pluto, there is a slight lag in engagement of motor while releasing the brakes, and it seems to be a safety feature. There are no vibrations while riding it in any mode at any speed, and the battery lasts for almost the claimed range. The brakes inspire good confidence. They are superb. The front has a good bite and feedback. The rear one has an amazing bite because of the EBS. The moment brakes are applied, the motor goes into regenerative mode, in turn increasing the resistance in the motion of rear wheel, hence making the braking even more efficient and powerful. With all that, you are also charging the battery. As Ritika said, Pure EV has done a phenomenal job in terms of suspension setup. The ride quality, handling characteristics and the stability are all good on the scooter. The front forks are on a softer side whereas the rear ones are slightly stiff, creating a balance of comfort and stability. It is very good on minor patches. The sharp ones can still travel, but at city speeds the impact is not that high and hence the ride quality is maintained. It has been crafted well for city use. The build of the scooter is good, especially considering the main components that is the battery and the motor. It is rock solid and Pure EV has been improving it with every iteration, adding something new. And I would like to see the riding button soon integrated in the switch gear itself. 
Overall, this is a good scooter for city use by short riders. That brings us to the end of this ride review. If you also like the e-trans Neo, you can get it at 79,000 X showroom Delhi. And don't worry because this product is made in India and it is made by our very own IITNs from Hyderabad. I hope this video was helpful for you. Do give it a thumbs up and if you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and definitely ring that bell so you never miss out any notification from us. If you still have any doubts or any queries, you can leave it in the comment section below or directly catch us on our Instagram page, Facebook page or Twitter page. The handle will be right over here. We'll see you again in the next video. Till that time, stay home, stay safe and ride safe. Bye-bye.